Okay, so I started recording. Um, so this is the problem. Jazin, um, Yes, doctor. Now? Yes. Okay, let's let's start. Uh, anyway, who I'm saying can see Ahadmutakhar Tazil Mawjud. Okay, so uh, this is the, the, the problem. The objective of this problem is to add to load data from a MongoDB database and display uh, the data using an EGS view. Okay, so data uh, is uh, provided, you don't have to do anything uh, for this. Uh, the data is here. It's in this uh, um, Okay, I have to connect again here now You can see the data here now. Uh, it will be loaded. We have a list of courses in the MongoDB database. Still loading. Uh, it's, take, it's taking a long time. I don't know why. Um, doctor, no. the, the major will be during uh, class time. Uh, now, major will be during class time, uh, uh, tomorrow for the first group uh, at 10 o'clock, for the second group at uh, uh, 3 p.m. Also, there will be another uh, session uh, Thursday at uh, 11 a.m. Uh, yani for those who have two exams tomorrow already, uh, you don't have too many exams in the same day, so I added another session yani Thursday. So you can choose when, any, whenever, whatever session you want to uh, to get uh, examined. Fiha, you can you can come for, yeah, in any session. You can even come with group two if you want tomorrow, مثلا, if you are in group one or. Okay, I have um, difficulty here with. Uh, I don't know why it's not loading. Doctor. Um... No. Uh, in the exam, can we use the data from Mango from your uh, account in MongoDB also? No, no, no. In your uh, in the exam, you just uh, yeah, you will use this URI. It will be provided. It has the username and the password. Okay, so this this user can only uh, read data from the database. Uh, no, you you will use that. Uh... Okay, there is a problem here now with. Uh... With the interface, but the data is there, and it's in the database, it's working. But I don't know why this interface now is uh, lagging. But I wanted to show you the data. Oh, okay, now it's loading. Okay, so we have here now six uh, objects. Uh, so the first one is CS101. You have the name, the description. So we have an ID, a code, a name, and a description. The ID, we don't care about the ID because يعني, it's generated by uh, يعني, uh, uh, by MongoDB. You know? We will not يعني, be uh, uh, يعني, uh, displaying the ID. We will only be displaying the code, the name, and the description. Okay, So you can see all the, the, the objects. They have the same structure. So that's the, the data. Not very uh, complex. We have three strings. So it's simple. Uh, so that's what we, we need to do. We need to load the data from database, uh, MongoDB uh, database, and then use uh, EGS uh, views to display the data. Uh, we'll be developing two routes, okay? Uh, so we'll, uh, I'll talk about this uh, later. So the database is ready. We'll only query it from your Express server. You have to create clean and organized code. So the code has to be clean and organized, and you have to follow uh, and, uh, uh, quality standards to uh, in your code. Uh, so let's start. First step, create a folder. So you will start from scratch. You don't have a starter code. You will start from, from scratch. So let's start. I'll come here in, in the desktop, for example, 
هنا ويل كرييت فولدر هل كولت ريفيجن اور ميجر 2 مثلا ريفيجن سو ذيس ويل بي اور بروجكت اوكي ناو اي كلوز ذيس I'll open a new window and then I'll open this folder from Visual Studio Code. Open folder, go to my desktop and then select my folder. Okay, that's it. So we are st starting from scratch. Uh, is it clear until now? Yes. Yes. Okay, so the first thing is to create a project folder and then open it using Visual Studio Code. Second thing, initialize uh, our node application using npm init to have a package.json so that we can, uh, after that, install the packages that we need, express, mongoose.env, and then EGS. Okay, so we'll do these two uh, steps um, here directly. So we have to, to open uh, terminal okay so the terminal open directly on our folder okay so uh, because here we opened directly our folder so here the terminal is uh, terminal is open directly in our for our folder so uh, if you did something different you have to get inside this folder before you do the npm init minus y to initialize package.json file so now we have a package.json as you can see here now. And now we will npm install. In one line, install all the packages, express space egs space dot env space and mongoose mongoose. And that's it. We will install the, the four uh, packages in uh, only one command. So we have to wait a little bit and we should see the dependencies added here in our package.json. So it's instead downloading and installing. Okay, now they are installed. You can reopen our, our package.json and we should see these dependencies uh, added to our uh, project. Okay, let's go back to the to the, the Word document. Then we have to create the structure of our project, the structure of our project. Uh, project. So we need an app.js file, a .env file. Then we have to create folders, the views folder, models folder, controllers, routers, and public folder. So we'll do this, you know, directly. So we have to uh, select our project and then Click here to create a .env file. Again, uh, an app.js file. Then a models folder. Then a controllers folder. Then, so all of this is repetitive. Yani it's not very uh, complex, and you have to just do it quickly. Uh, nothing. Um, you, know, you don't have to to think you know, at all. A views folder, and finally a public folder that will contain our CSS uh, file. Okay. So now, views, models, controllers, routers, public, and also I forgot to add public slash CSS folder to add CSS folder. Then we have to copy this URI and copy it in our .env file. Okay. So we go to our env file. We specify our port. So these things, you have to do them even if it's not uh, and yeah, I don't tell you to do them. You always have to do these two, uh, the port at least. And you know we have a database, so we need this URI. So this this file is finished. We don't have to do anything else with this file. 
uh, I said I have to add uh, CSS folder inside our public folder. Uh, let's go back now. Now we'll start. So here it says create an EGS view that can display that can display a list of courses from the database when the following route is requested slash courses. Okay. So to do this, so when the 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 client sends this route slash courses, we need to send an EGS view that contains the list of all courses directly to the uh, to the view and the view is displayed to the user. Uh, so we need to add a route for all slash courses uh, routes and then add a controller for all courses actions. Okay, so we need to do all of these in one uh, shot. Yani here we don't have you don't have any guidance to do it. You have to do it yourself. Okay, so I will, I will show you now the steps. Okay, one by one. So the, the first uh, step is uh, to create the model. Okay, so we need to create the model. So we'll go here in models and we'll add a course model. We call it course.js. Here we have to uh, uh, import mongoose const, sorry, const mongoose equals require mongoose. Then we have to create a schema const course schema equals mongoose dot schema and here we have to give to this constructor here uh, the structure of our of our data okay so we have a code here we have we will uh, define the properties of this uh, property code so here first you have to specify the type it's of type string also, we'll specify that it's required, okay? And we'll do the same thing for the two other um, attributes, which are name and description. Description. Description doesn't have to be required, but we can remove this required, you know? Uh, we can remove this comma, but because here you know, we are not adding any data, we are we are not saving any data to the database. This will not uh, affect our uh, any program. Is it clear until now? Yes, doctor. Okay. So now we have to export. We have to do module dot exports equals. Here you, know, you call mongoose dot model lowercase model. Huh? You know sometimes. When you when you type M, you will. Yeah, you don't don't do this model with uppercase. You have to call this model. This will create a model. Uh, out of what? Out of our schema. So we we need to tell this uh, method, this function, to use this schema to create a model. And here we will specify the name of our model. It will be course. Now we are done with our uh, data model. Okay. So this is uh, quite simple, straightforward. Once you know the structure of your uh, data, uh, so this is done. We can uh, close this file, and now we have to prepare our um, application. So in our, in our main file, we have to import Express const Express equals require Express. <clears throat> we have to const uh, mongoose, we have to import mongoose also because we have to connect to the database from here. Then uh, we have to, uh, to configure um, or to load the configuration uh, uh, variables. 
using uh, require dot env dot config and then uh, we have to do um, and then we have to connect to the database uh, we have to create a, an application so const app equals express then we have to to configure our uh, application so we'll uh, we'll use the set function to specify express.static express.static we have to set it um, wait a minute I have to 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 find the syntax yes it's a, it's a function so I have to give it the name of the public uh, folder express.static public then uh, then we have to use um, now this is here here we have to to call the dot use method to set here we have to configure static ser, uh, folder so that we can don't we, huh? don't we need to uh, require the ags um yes we need to require ags now yes const uh, uh, no we don't have to to require ags we don't have to require ags we have to um uh, in EGS, we just need to do the the app dot set app dot set uh, view engine. We have to set it to EGS. It's done uh, with. I think we have to specify it as a string. You know. So here it's specified as a string. So. Uh, it's it's uh, managed internally by uh, by Express. You know we are not importing anything. This is just a string. Okay. Uh, now we can we can try to connect to the database. Mongoose dot connect. We have to give it uh, the URI. Process dot env. Dot, dot mango dot, uh, yeah mango uri and then uh, give a callback function here that will be called uh, if uh, any if we succeed uh, no this is not how we do it now we just do a dot then we have a dot then And then we have dot catch. For the catch, it's easy to do it, so we will. I'll write it uh, right away. We just console dot load that uh, that error. That's it. So dot then. Hina will get a result. And here, first of all, we'll say, we'll tell to, to the user or to the, um, to the administrator that who is running the application on the server uh, that we are connected. Console.log. Connected to database. And then here we will do app.listen on, uh, on the port process dot env dot port and here now we I think we we, we can uh, give a callback function that will be called once uh, the listen and the server starts so here now we'll console dot log uh, that we are connected 
I'll use the template strings here. Uh, server listening on port. And here I'll write the name of the the the, the, the port process dot env dot port. Okay, we can we can uh, start to see if um, everything is configured correctly now. We do node app to see if the server is running. So we are connected to the database, and the server is listening on the port. So okay, this is good. So now what we need to do is to add uh, the routes. Okay, so we'll we'll do first of all. Uh, let, let's go to the to the document. So the document, so we, we still do not, did not do the following. So we have the first route slash courses. And then here now we also have another route slash courses uh, and then uh, code. So we, here now we are uh, uh, searching for courses by code. So we have two routes that uh, yeah, for, for, uh, for uh, courses. So here now we, we have to do up the tools. And specify a router here. So we'll create a courses router that will handle these routes. Okay. So Hina. Texer. No. Isn't app.get? Yeah, no, exactly. No, it's app.get. You're right. Uh, no, it's up to choose. It's up to choose because it's uh, uh, Hina, we are uh, configuring. Um, uh, the the application to use this router for these routes. Okay, so it's up to choose. So here now we configure Express to use courses router to manage slash course routes. This is what we are doing here. And then we can also, uh, I will do it uh, directly, or I can, I can add an S, and I think it's it's with an S. Um, we can also directly add the last question, the answer to the last question, because it's uh, quite simple. Uh, add a route that handles wrong requests. So Hina, uh, we always do this in. Uh, in the previous uh, examples that we have seen in chapter six and, and seven, we always add at the end uh, this handler that will handle uh, routes yani, that are uh, not recognized and return a 404 error uh, status and then an H1 tag containing an error message. So we do this, you know, uh, handle uh, unrecognized routes. We do this by doing up the choose, and here now we just give uh, this function request response, and you have to do to put it at the end. So this will be called if uh, no routes no route is is any recognized, and here now we have to do response. Dot status 404 and then dot send and here we send uh, our um, uh, our um, HTML which can be uh, error 404 uh, resource not found. Okay, um, here now we have to import this. Now, if we if we try to execute, we get an error normally because uh, we are using this router and it doesn't exist yet. So we have to create it in the routers folder. So here now I will create courses router.js 
Um, so in the courses router, we have to import Express because it's Express that allows us to create uh, this router. So we'll create a router here using express.router and then we will export it module.exports equals router now it's not doing anything but yani it's empty now we here now we will have to uh, to configure it but now it, it exists so we can use it here now we can of course we have to import it so we'll call it uh, as we named named it here courses router we copy this const courses router equals require uh, we have to to give the full path uh, routers slash courses router now we we can compile and see if if it works Doctor, why exporting the router and 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 the file from here? Yeah, because we will import it. You know, here we we are importing it. This is it. This is the same object. Courses router here is exactly this object that you have created here. So here here we will create it. We will configure it. Now, yani we we still did not write this code, and then we export it so that here we can import it, and we can use okay. it. You know. So now we can we can uh, try to uh, to execute our code and yeah, it should it should work. Uh, it's not working, so we have to express the tracker is not a function. Uh, so maybe it's uh, it's uppercase heavy. I have to verify the syntax. I think it's uh, it's an uppercase there. Now it's uppercase, so we can. Now execute. Now it's working, and we can test already. What kind of tests tests we can make? Uh, if, if we try to do this, um, we not get anything. But maybe if we send a request to a page that doesn't exist, this is the final result that we want to to get. Huh? So now if we try to do this, we have invalid status code. Okay, so you didn't create the home, doctor. Huh? Um, you create courses, just courses. You have to add the uh, forward slash courses, right? Hey, no, uh, no, I did not, did not create uh, header, this, but uh, here now we should be having um, the error message here now invalid status code and defined. I have sent. Uh, maybe I have sent. Um, oh, I did not specify the the status code here, you know, because um, anyway. So uh, here you know, I sent a wrong status code, so that's why we had that error. So this is a route that is not handled by anything. So you know we should get the the, the error that we have uh, we have sent. We have the 404 status code, you know, So it's it's working. Uh, is it clear? Yes. Is yes, it clear that yani, why it's working? Yes. Clear, doctor. Okay. Doctor, just can you please explain what did you import and what did you export and like the idea? Well, I, I imported Express, Mongoose. No, 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 not just for uh, the router. You know? Yeah. Just Express. 
because we need this uh, constructor that will build uh, that, that will create a router for us okay that's it but uh, but uh, we are not using the router yet here now we are only using this uh, handler uh, because we sent uh, yani a route that is not handled so it was handled by this last handler yeah. so this will handle any unrecognized route okay now we have to fill so now our uh, app.js is, is complete. We don't have to add anything else in our app.js. Everything is ready. So now we need to, to build our uh, router and then, of course, our control. So in our router, we'll have uh, two routes. So here now we have to do router.get the first route that will be slash courses. And here we have request response. This is our callback function. This is our first and router. Now, should, should it be courses or MP? Because uh, it is courses. Yeah, so no, I'm exactly. Like you're right, you're right. Uh, it would be empty. Uh, you're right. Uh, because it's already in a, uh, and we are already inside the courses. You are right. So this is the, the basic uh, first route. Uh, and then we have an, a second route that will be Hina with, with the code. Okay. So what we, we should do Hina, we should, uh, instead of specifying our function Hina, we, we will not specify it Hina, we will specify it in, um, we will not specify it here, we will specify it in the controller. So here we will call the controller. Uh, we'll call it courses controller dot get here all courses. The this, this is the function that we were about to write it here, but instead, instead of writing it here, we will write it, we'll give the name and write it in the controller. So Hina will copy this and we will create a controller. Hina, we will call it courses controller.js. And we will create this function. And same thing, we will have another function for the second route. And it will be get all courses by by code. We'll see why, Hina. I'm not getting only one course by code. You'll see why. It's simpler to do it this way. Because when we do it this way, we will be, uh, yani, uh, we will be uh, able to use the same view uh, to display the results of the first or of the second result. So now, uh, also, Hina, we have to import this, uh, this uh, object, Hina. So we, we have to do the following const courses controller equals require. Here you have to do dot dot slash controllers. Then we have to go back uh, to go up one uh, level in the folders director uh, hierarchy slash controllers and then courses controller. Now we have access here to the functions that are exported inside this uh, this file so now we are done the router is ready uh, we don't have to do anything else so we can close it and now we just need to to do this but i will uh, copy the name i will go back to the router and copy the name of the second function so that i don't make mistakes in the names so this will be the fu first function Okay, uh, and this will be our second function. And of course, uh, I have to export these so that they can be imported from the router. So I have to do module.exports equals these two functions. Uh, doctor, the, the name of the 
نعم دكتور وي ديدنت اكسس ذا ذا فانكشنز ان رايت اواي ان ذا ان ذا راوتر ان ذا كورس راوتر وي سيت كورسز دوت جيت اول كورس نعم وي هنا هذا كورسز كنترولر از ذيس اوبجكت ذات وي يوز تو امبورت اي ثينك ذات از اكسبورت نعم وي ديدنت اكسبورت ذا كورسز كنترولرز وي اكسبورتد ذا فانكشنز نعم هنا وي اكسبورتد ذيس تو فانكشنز We exported this object. This object. This is an object. Okay. Module dot exports is an object. So this object we can get it how by doing require and the name of the file. Hina. Okay. When exactly. we do this, hina we will get an object. This is exactly the object that is exported. So we can use this object to uh, to get يعني, uh, a reference to the first function and a reference to the second function. Okay, I see. Mm. Can can I export the name of the file? Then use the same thing here, like export uh, courses control uh, routers. Hina, you cannot. You can Not only export uh, things that are specified inside this file, like okay. variables or functions or object classes. Okay, okay. Anything that is defined, Hina, you can export it inside this object here. Now we have to, uh, develop our our controller. So what, what what should we do here in our controller? Uh, we have so the controller is is a function that that has two arguments a response and a request. Uh, sorry, a request and then a response. Same thing for the second one. And here we have to use. The course object. This is the uh, the model. Dot find. Dot find. So this will we get we load all the data from the database, and then what we'll do here now with the result. Uh, so what we'll do with the result? We will send the result to what? To what? To the response object. So we will do response dot uh, render, and we will render what? We will render our view. So we'll call it, for example, courses dot egs, and we have to send some data to this view, and this data will be. Uh, we will name it courses, and it will contain the result. Okay, the result that we will get from the find, we will send it to this view uh, with this name. Okay. Dot catch if something wrong happens. Same thing here. Now we'll just um, log console dot log. The error. Okay. Is it clear, Hadi or not? Yes, doctor. Clear. Okay. Um, okay. What what is needed now is this this uh, this class. You know, we don't have it because we are inside this uh, controller. We have to. It's it's uh, it's exported here you know, from this models. You know, it's exported. Uh, By this um, instruction here, now. so we have to import it in our um, controller. So we have to do const course equals require, and we have to give the path here you know, of our model. We have to go back one level models slash course. Okay. So, so, so now we should be able to to get the data. I think this is enough for the first round. I think this is uh, this will will work. ممكن في أحد عنده المايك تبعه مفتوح إذا كان إذا كان ممكن يسكره 
I think it's Abdul Aziz. Barakallahu feek, Abdul Aziz. Okay. Uh, so now what, we, what, what is missing now? Uh -huh. The view. Hina, this. The view is missing. Now we are sending this data to this view that doesn't exist yet. So we have to build the view. So let's go to the views in a folder and create this view. It has to be called courses.egs. And I will generate uh, the HTML uh, with my uh, tool Hina. Uh, Hina, I have to specify the, the styles file. It is inside slash CSS slash. So this, uh, this will be our file. I will remove this right now. I don't have a script. I'll add the title to the page. Um, I have a footer here now. I will add a, a simple footer, copyright, just you know, to have something there. In the header, I will add a title you know, so that we don't only have a table. I will call it courses now. Uh, Doctor, uh, this is an extension that loads everything. That, that, that creates the everything. HTML. Now, this is an extension. Is, but can, could you tell us the name of the extension, Doctor? Um, well, it's not the public. 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 But I can I can give you this code uh, on a, on a, يعني, on a website okay. where, where we can share code. For example, yeah, يعني, this is this is repetitive code. يعني, it's not a, you can yeah you can even uh, uh, find somewhere in uh, on W three schools for example where you can copy something like this. So now now that we have this, let's first try that this is working. Let's try to uh, to uh, to access the slash courses, um, yani, um, route and see if we get what we want. We try this. This route is still working now. If we try to access slash courses, we have our page, so it's working, which is good. Uh, we can see here that styles.css doesn't exist, was not found, because we did not create it. So let's let's go and create it here. In this folder, we'll create styles.css. It's empty for now. That's OK. We'll, we'll uh, add the CSS later. Here now, we create our, our table to display the data. So uh, table, then t uh, head. And then T body. T body. In the T head, I will have TH fair code, then TH uh, fair uh, name. And then th via description. Uh, I think it has to be inside the tr, but maybe it's not necessary. And then inside the t body, we'll have now some egs. So now we have the the courses object. Uh, yani it's it's a table. Uh, we can we can uh, look at the look at the data so that we understand yani, what kind of data we are getting here before we render the page we will console.log the course uh, the, the result so that we see what's what kind of data we are getting we restart the application now we are connected uh, we can send the request it's working now, as you can see, the styles uh, folder has, uh, or file has been found. So it's working. 
And now we can see here what kind of data we are getting from the server. So it's an array, as you can see, it's an array of, of uh, JavaScript objects. Okay. So we can do a for loop inside our. I don't know why this is displayed like this. As as only one object. This is uh, this is wrong, Yanni. I think how did we get the, how did we get this data? Um, how did you get this data? Yeah. Uh, using the find. This is the here, the beauty of Mongoose because you just need to create your um, uh, your uh, schema, and then when you uh, you do dot find, you call dot find, it will load, it will uh, select uh, all the elements, all the courses from the database. Okay. And you will get all the the the, the data inside this result uh, array. So let's. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, to our EGS to display the data here. So we need to do a for loop. So we do courses dot for each for each course here, and a callback function that will be executed on each element from this table. Okay, now we have to sur surround this with these tags. These are EGS tags. And here, for each course, we will create one TR, one row. For each row, we will have three TDs. So the first TD, here, uh, let's create three TDs first. So three cells, table cells. In the first TD, we have to add, we have to do this to insert some data in, okay? And the data will be course.code, okay? And in the next TD, the data will be course.name. And in the last TD, Hina, it will be course.description. Okay. Uh, we can we can add in a an if uh, to uh, to make sure that uh, that courses is not is not null, Yani. And we can put all of this inside this if, you know. And now we can test this. And now we can see that the table is displayed correctly. We just need to add some styles. Uh, to add the styles, I will just look for some styles from the internet. Yani, uh, I, I don't have to, to do this myself. So Hina, uh, in uh, W3 uh, schools, I have the style of this table Hina. I will just copy it. Okay. I will go to styles and I will just paste that... Uh, those styles. I will call these courses. This will be the ID of my table. I will replace customers in a by courses. I will change the green in a color of the background color in a to, to blue, for example. And of course, I have to go to my uh, HTML, go to my table. You know, I, and add an ID to this table, and the ID will be courses the same that I used in the uh, in the CSS file. I restart my server, and then I can you know, check if it's working. So now, I, as you can see, uh, the styles have been uh, yani added correctly. 
So that's the first part. That was this question, you know. Uh, but uh, we also added the CSS styles. We did also this. We now want to access the details of a course by code. And we also did the eight. So we, st we only uh, have this question left. So now we want to add the second route. Is it clear until now or not? Yes. Okay, now we have to add the second route. So the second route. Yes. Uh, so here we don't have to change anything in our uh, uh, EGS template. It's ready. Contro in our controller, we, we have to implement this function. Here. So as you can see, uh, here uh, these two functions are almost the same. So I will just copy the same code here and I will paste it here. So now we have these two functions. Uh, the difference is that in this find here, we have to add to add um, we have to add uh, a search criteria, which is code. So code has to be has to be uh, a request dot params dot code. Okay. Uh, is it clear? You just need to add the, uh, the 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 search criteria. So code has to be equal to this our params here. Okay, let's let's test this. So uh, I'll I'll input here. I'll add any ID, uh, any code. Uh, let's say CS. 101 and it's working as you can see we have cs 101 if we add se 365 you know we get se 365 so it's working okay so yeah we, we did not create a different uh view because you know yani, oh, uh, yani we are using the same view for both routes, which is better. Yani. It's, uh, it allows us to, to, uh, to do more with uh, yani less code. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. We have finished. So everything is done. You know. Do you have any, any questions? Uh, doctor. Yeah. The exam will be one hour. Uh, it will be one hour, doctor. Because I don't think one hour is enough actually, because we are doing a lot of stuff here, especially that we are creating the, the game from scratch. Mm. Well, the problem is that we have uh, there is a lecture after our uh, our class. Um, uh, can we come at three, doctor? No, if, if you want to come at three, I can. If you all come at three o'clock, I can give you يعني, uh, one hour and a half. يعني. But يعني, in the morning uh, at 10, I don't know if, if I can give because the, we don't have the enough time يعني, for the class. Yeah. Okay. So let That's me stop the let three. me stop the recording. If you don't have any questions, technical questions, I will stop the recording and then we can uh, carry on with uh, the other questions. And come questions uh, technically, yani, uh, what we did. All clear, doctor. Thank you. Okay, I'll stop.